Uh, my next thoughts are uh, uh, regarding free trade agreements. So India is one of the um, top countries where uh, in Asia where withholding maximum number of free trade agreements and preferential free trade agreements. And these trade agreements are in effect. approach to integrate into global economy and strengthen an economic cooperation with other countries however looking at current situation do you see india should still focus on trade agreements to boost bilateral trade and how these agreements are going to benefit our actual indian exporters see actually so far as free trade agreement is concerned there are two three things here one is a free trade agreement one is a trade block and the third thing is open trade internationally that is what was envisaged by wto world trade organization okay so when you have a situation of wto and free trade then everyone can export everything everywhere that is one part now that for various reasons had not happened though when we started talking uh, in uh, earlier days about opening up of trade international trade and all we had an idea at the back of the mind that global trade should be absolutely free as it was in the 1900s or maybe 1800s so global trade should be absolutely free anyone can carry any goods from anywhere to anywhere and that would actually make a better availability of products everywhere and bring down the cost and also ensure quality that is what we thought but for various reasons that has not happened i am not going into the reasons now what happened is that with wto not happening we could have joined a trade block and the other thing is that lot of countries went into trade block and also another very important thing is that number of trade blocks started increasing very interesting phenomena is that some of the trade blocks started becoming very large okay like the uh, trans pacific partnership treaty which was envisaged one point of time okay which did not happen because us did not agree after mr trump got into the presidency was that trans pacific partnership treaty would have 40% of the market within that trans pacific partnership city and some of the richest market including the us market Jap- japanese market etc now we are now talking of the rcep okay regional comprehensive economic pact which is also comprised of the 10, 10 asean nations china and uh, japan australia uh, india also they were trying to get in and all which would have opened up uh, another again 40% of the global market now what we are trying to do is that trying to trade within that block tariff free or specially reduced tariff so that we can have increased trade within these countries the third thing which has been the bone of contention and that is the reason why india did not join the rcp last time in that last negotiation about 6 months back is essentially because the sepa which we had signed comprehensive economic pact with asean countries and all did not actually give benefits in the sense that uh, it enables them to export their product or india to import products from asian countries whereas indian products were not competitive en- enough to make an entry into the market internationally okay into these asian markets actually these asian markets had decided on a negotiated tariff or a free opening up in their trade with india so that the products could move without any problem in short that is the thing so you had trade pact with ish at uh, thailand you had trade pact with uh, singapore you had trade pact with uh, so many other countries indonesia etc etc now what happened is that those countries because of the lower cost of production and all that they could sell their products in india but indian products were not be- being able to be enough competitive in those countries number one so india had thought that india uh, will get an access to the services market service sector exports but that also unfortunately did not happen which was a real unfortunate thing we had also told thought when sepa opened up that markets would actually allow indian services exports to grow and since india is strong in services so that could be a beneficial thing but unfortunately that did not happen so with covid 19 now what is happening is that these exports which were or imports which were to come from those countries could now really start facing a challenge because there could be i am increasingly seeing that increasingly many governments including our own government is trying to propagate more of domestic catering to the domestic market and also indian 
products being made available more widely into the domestic market to cut down on exports or cut down on imports from other countries and that is primarily in my opinion because of some sort of a fear and also in a way to revive the economy now if this type of thing happens then you could have some decline in that but that would be difficult to decline primarily because the pact will have to be annulled so those things have not been annulled now what would be interesting is in the next few months or uh, maybe one one year or so you could have a situation where these trade block agreements and also these bilateral trade pacts and all could perhaps come up for review if oh. covid creates a situation where people are not interested in trading with each other in the same manner in which they used to trade earlier and if they have a, a reason to believe that they should increasingly make their manufacturing products cater to the domestic market and stop exports uh, so stop imports in that case you could have a situation where these trade blocks and these bilateral trade agreements will come up for negotiation okay thank you sir